This is load flow analysis using power wall simulator. We will find out how the solutions obtained from this program. We will apply newton robson method. It's a powerful method of solving nonlinear algebraic equation. Therefore, the convergence is very fast. The number of iterations is independent of the size of the system. Solutions to high accuracy are obtained nearly always into 2-3 iterations for both and small large system. From this three-bus system consists of PB bus, PQ bus, and slack bus. We will analyze the computational procedure for newton robson method with the same given data from power wall simulator. The algorithm process or step-by-step -step calculation. Hello everyone. Our topic for today is the load flow studies. Load flow studies are used to ensure that electrical power transfer from generators to consumers through the grid system is stable, reliable, and economic. As shown in the load flow diagram, consists of calculation of voltage magnitude and its phase angle at the buses, and also the active and reactive lines flow for the specified terminal or bus conditions. The techniques for solving the load flow problems are iterative using the newton robson methods. Defending upon the quantities specified for the buses. They are classified into three types of buses, namely PQ bus. The real power P and reactive power Q are specified. It is also known as load bus. Generally, in a PQ bus, the generated real and reactive power will be assumed to be zero. However, power will be flowing out. Thus, the real power and reactive power will be both negative. PV bus. The real power P and the voltage magnitude B are specified. It is also known as generator bus or voltage control bus. The real power and voltage are specified for buses that are generators. These buses have a constant power generation, controlled through a frame mover and a constant bus voltage. Slack bus is required to provide the mismatch between the scheduled generation, the total system load, including losses and total generation. The slack bus is commonly considered as the reference bus because both voltage, magnitude, and angles are specified. Therefore, it is called the swing bus. As shown in this network, represented using one line diagram of simple three bus power system. We assume that all electrical variables in this network are given in the ferry unit system. Step 1. How do you find the Y bus matrix? The dimension of Y bus matrix is N times N, where N is the number of buses in the power system network. The Y bus matrix is used for the load flow studies. Y bus is referred to as the admittance matrix. Y bus is a mathematical representation of the network power flow model. To solve for Y bus analytically, bus interconnection information is needed. From this 3 by 3 matrix, we will identify the components of admittance. The admittance matrix has shown diagonal elements Y11, Y22, and Y33 of the bus admittance matrix are known as self-admittance. And the off-diagonal elements Y12, Y13, Y21, Y23, Y31, and Y32 are known as mutual admittances. 
for Y11 admittance is equal to the sum of connected between two buses of Y12 and Y13 bus admittances. For Y22 admittance is equal to the sum of connected between two buses of Y12 and Y23 bus admittances. For Y33 admittance is equal to the sum of connected between two buses of Y13 and Y23 bus admittances. The value of a diagonal elements which is connected between bus I and bus J which is represented with a negative sign. The of diagonal elements Yij is equal to the minus of the admittance of the element connected between buses I and J. This is the Y bus matrix with complete data for the transmission line admittances. It is used to analyze the data that is needed in the load or power flow studies. Let us understand this method with the help of the equations in step 2. The equation P subscript I and Q subscript I can also be written as shown, where P subscript I is the net active power injected at bus I, and where Q subscript I is the net reactive power injected at bus I. This is the conflict derivation of equation P subscript 2 Q subscript 2 for PQ buses and P subscript 3 and Q subscript 3 for PB buses. For better understanding, you may refer to other videos how to derive the static load flow equation. We will proceed for step 3. Assume the initial value for load buses, the voltage magnitude equals 1 and phase angle equals 0 degree. And for PV buses, the phase angles equals 0 degree. For slack bus, the bus voltage magnitude equals to 1.05 and its phase angle equals 0 degree are specified. To get the zero iterations, Substitute all the given values from step 3 and admittance values from step 1. To compute the P subscript I and Q subscript I for each load buses using the load flow equation. Once all the values are set, the result of zero iteration for P subscript 2 equals negative 1.2. 400 and the result of zero iteration for Q subscript 2 equals negative 2.800 and the result of zero iteration for P subscript 3 equals 0 0.5616 and the result of zero iteration for Q subscript 3 equals 1.0192 Now, the results of initial calculated values for each load bus, real power P2 and P3, and reactive power Q2 and Q3. Now, in step 5, compute the scheduled errors or power mismatch for each load bus from the following given results. The real power mismatch P2 is equal to the P2 specified minus the P2 calculated. The result is negative 2.8600. The reactive power mismatch is equal to the Q2 specified minus the Q2 calculated. The result is negative 0.2200. The real power mismatch at PB bus is equal to the P3 specified minus P3 calculated. The result is 1.4384.
proceed to step 6. Derive the equation of Jacobian matrix by partial derivatives. For this part, you may check other lessons available how to derive this method. From step 6, substitute all the given values to obtain the Jacobian elements. The results of del P with respect to angle at Basto is 54.2800. The results of del P2 at Basto with respect to angle at bus 3 is negative 3, 3.2800. The results of del P3 at bus 3 with respect to angle at bus 2 is negative 33.2800. The results of del P3 at bus 3 with respect to angle at bus 3 is 66.0400. The results of del P3 at bus 3 with respect to voltage magnitude B2 at bus 2 is 24.8600. The results of del Q2 at bus 2 with respect to angle at bus 2 is negative 27.1400. The results of del Q2 at bus 2 with respect to angle at bus 3 is 16.6400. The result of del P2 at bus 2 with respect to voltage magnitude B3 at bus 3 is negative 16.6400. The result of del Q2 at bus 2 with respect to voltage magnitude B2 at bus 2 is 49.7200. Proceed to step 8 for the Jacobian matrix and formulate the results given from step 7. This is the correction vector is equal to Jacobian matrix inverse and multiply to the power mismatch. This is the calculated Jacobian elements and the power mismatches, the given values. Obtain the value of voltage magnitude is negative 0 0.0265 and the phase angle negative 0 0.04526 region or negative 2.5934 degree at PQ bus and also the result of phase angle is negative 0 0.00772 region or negative 0 0.4422 degree at PB bus Proceed to step 9. Perform the calculation from initial voltage plus the correction vector. This is the result of first iteration. The phase angle at PQ bus is negative 2.59337 degree. This is the result of first iteration. The voltage magnitude. B2 at PQ bus is 0 0.97345. This is the result of first iteration. The phase angle at PB bus is negative 0 0.442233. From the load flow diagram, update the values at first iteration. The result of first iteration at PQ bus. The voltage is 0 0.97345 at phase angle negative 2.59337 degree. The result of first iteration at PB bus. Since the voltage magnitude is specified, the phase angle is unknown, so the result is negative 0 0.4422 degrees. Proceed to second iteration, obtain the updates from the voltage angles and magnitudes at PQ bus and PV bus. Step 1. Update the voltage from previous first iteration of voltage magnitude and phase angle at all buses. Step 2. Enter the updated values for the next calculation of P2, 
Q2, P3, and Q3. Step 3. Perform the calculation of power mismatch. Step 4. Update the values for the calculation of Jacobian elements. Step 5. Update the calculation of correction vector. Step 6. Update the calculation from voltage plus the calculated correction vector. The result of second iteration, the voltage magnitude 0 0.97168 and phase angle negative 2.69623 at bus number 2. The result of second iteration of phase angle at bus number 3 is negative 0 0.49867 degrees. The result of second iteration at PQ bus, the voltage is 0 0.97168 at phase angle negative 2.69623 degree. The result of second iteration, the voltage phase angle at PV bus is negative 0 0.49867 degrees. Update the voltage from second iteration for all voltages and phase angles at all buses. The result of third iteration at PQ buses, the voltage is 0 0.97168 and phase angle negative 2.69645 degree. The result of third iteration, the voltage phase angle at PB bus is negative 0 0.49880 degrees. From these tabulated iterative solutions, to port iteration, the solution is already converged from 0 0.001 or lower. Step 7. The solution converts in port iteration with minimum of 0 0.0000 tolerance. The expression of reactive power Q subscript 3 at PV bus 3 is 1.46176 per unit. The expression of active power P subscript 1 at the slux bus 1 is 2.1842 per unit. The expression of reactive power Q subscript 1 at slux bus 1 is 1.4085 per unit. The result of port iteration for reactive power at PV bus is 1.46176 or 146.1769 M bar. The result of port iteration at PV bus, the voltage phase angle is negative 0 0.49880 degree. The result of port iteration of active power at slug bus is 2.5. 1842 per unit or 218.4228 megawatt. The result of port iteration of reactive power at slack bus is 1.4085 per unit or 140.8515 M bar. The slack bus is used to provide for system losses by emitting or absorbing active and or reactive power to and from the system. The slug bus provides or absorbs active and reactive power from the transmission line to provide for losses since these variables are unknown until the final solution is ablaze. The slug bus is the only bus for which system reference phase angle is defined. 